Hey guys, it's Chris and it is time to get crafty. Today we're headed to the scrapyard to see if we can turn something into treasure with the power of DIY. Are you ready? Let's go! Right, so as you can see, I'm in my neighborhood scrapyard. And at first glance, I already see a lot of things with potential. But let's go see if we can find something that will inspire me today. Alright, so I'm looking at this cable spool and I think I already know what I want it to be. I'm gonna go get it and I'll see you back at the workshop. So this is the cable spool I got from the scrapyard and I can see already that it's perfect for a coffee table but since I've got a couple books lying around, I think I would also want to turn it into a bookcase. So I'm really excited but before we do anything, we will need We have to prep it, and for that we need a brush and a damp cloth. Now that it's all clean, I'm thinking I would like to add maybe four dividers around this area that serves as a bookcase just to hold the books together. So to do that, I'm going to measure just the top to the bottom of the spool, and that's about 42 centimeters. Now I'm going to go mark out my 2x2 two two piece of wood. So I've marked it out and now I'm going to saw it. Okay, so now I've got all the parts for my coffee table bookcase. It's time to sand. For this one, I'm using a power tool, but you can always just use sandpaper. It's just going to take you a little bit longer, but it's a good workout. Now that everything's sanded, all we gotta do is just clean off the sand dust. But what I'm gonna do now is assemble it. So for that, I'm gonna be using wood glue. Okay. I want to place them equally around the spool. Okay. Right, I'm happy with this. On to the next one. So I'm wiping off any excess glue we can find and it's time to reinforce. Remember to drive the nail in on both sides. It's prime time! Just kidding. So I've already covered my workstation so it catches any splatters. For today I'm using the Boyson flat wall enamel. You can use a paintbrush or a roller if you have one. The roller helps you to cover more area in a shorter span of time. And waiting for it to dry for six hours before I fill in the holes with Boyson Plasso Lux Glazing Putty. Alright, awesome. So at this point, I have already filled my holes with a putty and I've applied a second coat of enamel. I've let it dry. We're down to our last stage, which is to put a splash of color. And I'm using the Boyson Quick Dry Enamel in Ivory. So I will be applying two coats and there will be a drying time of six hours between each coat. And I'm done! Oh my gosh, it looks really, really good. Now I gotta wait for it to dry for about eight hours before I fill it up with books. So as you can see from this lovely specimen, it really is possible to take something that is from the scrapyard and turn it into treasure. Upcycling really brings the best out of things, like what we did with the old cable spool. We turned it into something more beautiful and useful. Once again, be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out StudioB and MyVoiceIn.com for more DIY content. Bye!